Hi guys, it's Simmer Deb. Welcome to part 29 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Killer Instinct. In the last episode, Aiden became a father. Yes, Emily gave birth to little Adam York. And to celebrate, Aiden murdered Summer Holiday's roommate, Travis Scott. And he is currently at Summer's home. And Summer is really smitten with Aiden. I mean, she is so into him. It is not even funny. I mean, there are times um, when Summer Holiday feels so close to Aiden. It's as though they are one person. <laughs> and of course, Aiden just wants to be one with Summer Holiday's money. But we know how that goes. So here they are, um, you know, <laughs> just spending a little time together. One soul, you know, two faces. Just really into each other. <laughs> okay. And with Travis Scott out of the way, Aiden has decided that it is time to ask Miss Summer Holiday to marry him. So that is what he's going to do now. Of course, he's going to romance her a little bit first. He's going to blow her a kiss, get her in that little romantic mood, tell her how beautiful she looks. Um, he just cannot get close enough to her. That's what he's telling her. He just wants to be so close to her. He's going to embrace her. Um, and let's just say... He can try for a baby, but we sure don't want to do that. He's going to go ahead and propose marriage to Miss Summer Holiday. You know, if they can quit being um, on top of each other long enough, that is. I don't know. It looks like he's joking with her and chatting with her. Don't know what that's all about. Um, and here we go. He's going to embrace Miss Summer. Aiden York is proposing to Summer Holiday, and will she say yes? Well, of course she is. She has no idea what she's getting herself into. <laughs> and there she is. She is so happy. She has leapt into Aiden's arms. And now Aiden's going to tell um, Summer that since they are engaged now, there's no use in putting off the fact... Um, for them to join households. So he's going to go ahead and ask her to move in with him. And of course, I'm pretty sure she's going to say yes. Because Summer Holiday thinks that she has found the man of her dreams. Little does she know that this dream is about to turn into a nightmare for poor Summer Holiday. Yes, that's true. So here we go. And she's going to sell all of her lot furnishings and move in with Aiden York. And here we go. And I wonder how Aiden's cow plant is doing. <laughs> I wonder if it's old enough to introduce it to Summer yet. Of course, we don't want her to meet Mr. Cow Plant too soon because they have to tie the knot first. You know, if she died now, you know, she may have some relatives floating around somewhere who might take her money, and, you know, Aiden would not want that at all. So we're going to bring Aiden York here. Oh, yeah, the harm. Looks like Summer's having a pretty good time on the computer. And Aiden needs to come back here and just check on Mr. Cowplant and see how he's doing. And it looks like he doesn't need anything right at the minute. Look, Aiden wants to cloud gaze with the Grim Reaper. We're definitely going to pin that. The next time Grim comes over, he'll have to do that. He wants to scare someone. Uh, yeah. And he wants to enthuse about his interest with somebody. And right now, of course, he's dancing. Uh, because he is still so happy about murdering uh, poor Travis Scott. I mean, he was so... So excited when he murdered Travis that he just laughed his butt off right there, um, you know, right in front of Summer. I mean, he was just laughing his head off. Of course, she didn't see that. He managed to stifle his giggles before she walked into the room. Um, but he's going to go ahead and dance up a storm a little bit. And he's probably going to ask Summer if she wants to go down to um, the local wedding venue. 
and tie the knot today. Let's just check on this plant one more time. Because it seems like he should be... Oh, what the heck is going on? We're not traveling. No, we're not. <laughs> I don't know what, what happened. I did not push the map button, people. Okay. Uh, I just think this he should be aging up. This cow plant should be aging up pretty soon. I don't know. Um, dancing, stretching, whatever. We are going to travel, though. Um, but I promise you I did not hit that map button. But I think I know what's going on. I have a new mod installed. It's an autonomy mod. And I think it ha it allows Sims to ask each other on dates um, autonomously. And if that's the case, it's going to bug me to no end. So I might have to modify that mod myself or just get it out of my game. I don't know. Haven't decided yet. Uh, but Aiden is going to go ahead and tell Summer or ask Summer. Um, well, he's going to invite her to dance first. And while they're dancing, he's going to chat with her and say, You know, honey, sweetie pie, love muffin, why don't you get all dressed up, all fancied like, and I want to take you uh, for a special little outing today. And she's dancing. He's not dancing anymore, but he's going to go ahead and change his outfit. He's going to go ahead and change it to his formal wear so he can, he can impress Miss Summer Holiday. And he's asking her to change her outfit as well. Let's see what Miss Summer Holiday's formal wear looks like. And that's just fine. Fine and dandy, like cotton candy. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anyway, they are going to go out. Um, where would be a good place for him to tie the knot? With Miss Summer Holiday. Um, he hasn't... I think the last time Aiden got married might have been at this wedding venue or it might have been at the park. So possibly, maybe they will get married at the museum because I don't think he's gotten married at the museum lately. So he's going to take Miss Summer Holiday over to the museum and tell her that, you know, there's a nice exhibit there that he wants to look at. And guess what, guys? He forgot to bake a cake. <laughs> so, um, hmm. We might have to rethink this. We might have to send him over to the uh, wedding venue. That's what we'll do. We'll just go ahead, because I don't think there's any place to bake a wedding cake here at the museum. Pretty sure there is not. I do not see a place. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to zippity, zippity doo da, zippity da over to <laughs> this wedding venue um, that we have. Is this it? Yep. Because I do know that there is a place to bake a cake here. So I guess the cat's out of the bag with Summer Holiday since he took her to the museum and now he's taking her over here to this wedding venue. I guess she kind of pr probably knows what's up, that he's going to ask her to go ahead and marry him immediately after he bakes her this little cakey cake. So that's what he's going to do. And somebody's on the pot. Miss Greenhair is on the pot. Okay. He's going to cook a white... You know what? <laughs> I'm almost tempted to cook something else today. I'm feeling extremely playful right now so can you put a wedding topper on a hamburger cake i don't know but we're gonna try it and we're gonna see what happens because you know what aiden is feeling very playful he's very happy and summer holiday she's a playful kind of sim i don't know much about her let's just find out she's cheerful she's outgoing she's active and she is gregarious well she could just come over here and dance her little booty off um well, oh, she was going to go to the bathroom. Well, she can do that, too. Does she need to go? Ribna. Yeah. Why don't you go to the bathroom? Sorry about that. And she's feeling extremely flirty. You know, all this... Uh, hey, there's some cake. Is that Aiden's last wedding cake? <laughs> Let's just look and see. I kind of think this might be Aiden's last wedding cake. <laughs> White cake made by Aiden York. It sure is. Um, I wonder if he can clean that up. Let's see. Let's see if she can clean it up. She has no idea that that is Aiden's, that Aiden made that cake for his previous 
spouse. One of his spouses, I think, I don't know if it was his last wife or not, but, uh, you know, it's so wild how on community lots, food just keeps forever, it seems like, and does not spoil unless the Sims are on that community lot. Okay, come on, hamburger cake. Let's get going. All right, let's just see if we have the opportunity. We can! We can put a wedding topper on a hamburger cake. Well, there we go. And as soon as, um, what's her face cleans this mess up, we'll, we'll put the cake on the table. Here we go. Now. Oh. And who is this? That is Blaine's girlfriend. And that is Aiden's son's half-sister, Shannon Benson. Yes, that, that's it. Emily Benson's daughter. And I just wonder if Shannon knows that her mother had some, a little something-something going on with um, her boyfriend, <laughs> Blaine. I don't know. And Aiden's just going to go over here and tell Summer how beautiful she's looking. He's going to give her a big fat kissy kiss. And then he's going to ask her to go ahead and tie the knot with him. He's going to get married. So let's just see how this plays out. Hey. He's like, hey, doing those dishes, huh? You sexy doing those dishes, baby. <laughs> Did you just hear a microwave beep? I think that's a glitch because it seems like I'm oftentimes hearing a microwave beep in this game when there's no microwave around. I don't know what's up with that, but that was definitely in the game. And they're talking, talking, talking. And is she going to be down with getting married with him? Okay, let's cut the chatter, guys. Let's get married. And here they go. They are going to get married. Aiden York ties the knot yet again. Oh, to Summer Holiday. And Summer is so happy in these beautiful surroundings. She thinks she has found the love of her life. A life that will be tragically cut short. <laughs> because Aiden has plans for this woman. Plans different from any other of his spouses. What a beautiful ceremony. Summer is exchanging vows with Aiden. And I believe they are now married. Yes. Summer Holiday is now Aiden's wife. I'm pretty sure she is, right? They did get married. Yes, yes. It is so wild to open this relationship panel. Um, yep, spouse. Sweethearts and soulmates. It's so weird to open this relationship panel and see Aiden with a kid. That's just so strange. And I know he has not gotten over that yet. He's going to go ahead and come over here and cut this lovely hamburger cake. And if these people um, ruin it, take a bite of it before he gets there. He's going to be mad and might have to kill one of them right here. <laughs> okay, so here comes Aiden. Summer, honey, why don't you come over here so that Aiden can stick a piece of cake in your mouth? Wait a minute. Yep, she's dancing. She's going to come over here. And Aiden's going to feed her some lovely hamburger cake. All right, little summer holiday. Is she going to stand inside him again? I don't know. You know how close they are. He is going to feed her, right? You notice how they he puts the cake in his pocket. And you notice how that there's no plate on his hand, but he's getting ready to take this fork and stick it in his hand. I don't know. Yep. Invisible hamburger cake. And it was so good. I guess the thing about it is... Summer told him, if you get that freaking cake on my dress or on my face and mess up my makeup, it will be the last thing you do. And so Aiden's like, uh, yeah, okay, well, let's just pretend. I'll just pretend to feed you some cake. 
how about that? And she's like, well, I can handle that. And let's just see. Aiden's going to celebrate by ordering himself a drink. And he's going to look around at this bar, see who's here. Alice Spencer Kim is here. She is um, probably either her or her daughter is next on Aiden's list. But Aiden's going to go ahead and celebrate his marriage to Miss Summer Holiday with a ridge pork. And what is Miss Summer Holiday doing? She's probably dancing. Yep, she's dancing. She's going to come over here and celebrate as well. She's going to have a... Eh, let's, is there anything fruity? I don't really see anything. She's going to have a zebra fizz. Why not? And where is Miss Spencer Kim getting off to? Oh, she looks sad. Oh, that's right. Aiden killed her husband. <laughs> Poor thing. No wonder she's so sad. She's here at this wedding venue. Uh-oh, look who it is. It's Cassandra. Yep. Aiden is definitely not wanting her to know that he just married Summer Holiday. He definitely does not want that to get out because Cassandra is one of his victims as well. And it looks like Summer Holiday... Does she even know Cassandra? I don't know. Let's hope she does not. And everything's still looking good between Aiden and Cassandra. Uh, but poor, poor Alice. Yep, her husband is dead. Aiden did kill him. Um, this is Teresa. Who knows? And this is Tara Valdez or whatever. But everybody looks like they're having a good time. And Aiden really wants to talk to Alice, and he wants to talk to Cassandra. But, you know, he's not going to risk it with Summer Holiday here, and he does not want Summer Holiday to meet Cassandra. Because if they met, Summer would say, you know, yes, I am newly married. Who is she talking to? Is she flirting with this dude? Oh, they must not like each other. Dusty is flirty, and they don't like each other. This is Dusty... Pin mental. I don't know. I don't know where the na game gets these names, but whatever. Dusty's fine. Just the last name's kind of strange. Um, she's going to go over there and order herself a drink. And while she's over there, Aiden is going to talk to Miss Cassandra a little bit. He's going to flirt with her a little bit, you know, just to make sure he's still got those fires burning. He's going to just kind of just. Make sure that Summer's not paying attention, though, because last thing he wants is for Cassandra and Summer to talk and get together and find out what's going on. But he's going to see if he can't sneaky sneak a little, maybe a little kissy kiss in here. Yeah, he's going to kiss her really quick. Just to make sure he's still got her on the line, still got her on the hook, and she's still interested. And she appears to still be quite interested. And he's just feeling really good and sunshiny. Now he's he's thinking about, you know, he'd really be gloomy if if Cassandra met Summer. That would really be bad. <laughs> but he's just having a good old time at this wedding. And he's just feel, really feeling on top of the world. Because uh, he now has control of Summer Holiday's money. Because he took a big hit. He lost, you know, quite a bit of money. When he bought that home for um, his child, Adam, and Emily, he took a pretty big hit on his funds. And he's noticing that here comes Summer Holiday. So he's going to cut this chat with uh, Cassandra short. And he's going to say, Cassandra, love you, girl, but got to go. <laughs> and he's going to grab Summer Holiday, and they're going to take off. Uh, they're going to go home really quick. And he's going to check on that little Mr. Cowplant. See how Mr. Cowplant's doing right now. Just make sure Mr. Cowplant doesn't need any watering, fertilizing, weeding, or any kind of special care. Because you never know. And those things, they can die really easily if you're not careful, if you don't take care of them. And he does not want to have to wait for another one to grow. And pro probably, he probably needs to check and see if he's got any mail. Nope, no mail. So he's going to go ahead, um, come back here. 
Let's just let him go here, and then we'll check Mr. Cowplant. Then he might leave Summer here. Since it doesn't look like Cowplant's big enough to kill anybody yet. Um, was that a dragonfly? There goes a dragonfly. He's going to possibly leave Summer here, and he's going to go over and visit Alice. See how Miss Alice is doing. All right, let's door. check Mr. Cowplant. He still does not need anything. Hmm. Well, that's pretty good, I guess. Um, all right. He's going to go ahead over... You know, if he kills... If he kills Alice before her daughter ages up, I just wonder if the game will get rid of that household. I don't know. Maybe he'll go over to Cassandra's home. That's where he's going to go. Aiden has decided to head over to little Cassandra's house. I say little. She's not little anymore. He's going to head over to Cassandra's house and see how her family's doing. You know, he still has her parents that are not dead yet. <laughs> he's going to go over there and see if possibly she went home. And, of course, he's going to go by himself because he sure does not want to take Summer with him. Over to Cassandra's home. So he's just going to go over there. See if maybe her father or mother are home. And I don't know. Evidently Cassandra did not find out that Aiden was having a little something something with her mother. Because she's not upset with him at all. I mean she kissed him right away. Uh, with no problems, no hesitations whatsoever. So evidently, you know, she does not know about that situation. Either that or she does not really care. <laughs> One of the two. You know, this family is kind of strange anyway. Um, and there's Mr. Malcolm. Not you. And let's just see what Mr. Malcolm is up to, where he's going. There is Bella, looks like. And I don't see Cassandra. Let's check the house and see if Cassandra's here really quick. All right, she's not up there. Don't see her here anywhere. Do not see her here anywhere. Let's look outside, out back. Nope, I don't think Cassandra's here, which is a good thing. Because, um, you know, I think he's going to... Uh, can he not call him back down here? He's going to have a deep conversation with Mr. Mortimer and say, you know, you really have a really nice house here and you really have a very strange family though. Uh, what's up with that? <laughs> you know, not to, not to uh, intrude. Oh, he's taking a, you know what? Okay. And Aiden just walks in and now all three of them are in the bathroom. Yes. And this is very strange because they're just having a conversation with Mortimer doing his business. Um, okay. He's going to ask about Mortimer's day. And he's having a pleasant conversation. And we're not going anywhere. <laughs> I think, I don't know what's up with this. It's got to be this mod, guys. Um. I'm going to have to make an adjustment to the mod or take it out, one of the two. Um, cause it, it's, and now is he feeling embarrassed by walking for walking in? Oh, he's going to be jealous. Uh, I don't think Aiden's really jealous. He might act jealous. I don't think he really is. I don't know what's up with that. But he's going to... Um, he might be a little jealous because even though he does not care... About Bella, one hooty hoot. Aiden, you Robin. know, he wants what's his. And he's not going to, you know, stand for somebody else taking what's his. Of course, Bella was never Aiden's to begin with. And, you know, he <laughs> knew that. I mean, he knows Bella's married. I mean, my goodness. Um, so they're going to go here together. Aiden's going to, like, Go here and talk to... Wait a minute, Aiden. All right, fine. He's going to talk to him just a little bit more. 
Let's go into um, compliment his outfit. You know, you sure do look sharp today, Mortimer, in that pink jacket. You really do. And let's just see what we can do here. Um, Aiden kind of had some plans for Mortimer today. Let's just see. Is that the only freaking fireplace in this whole house? I guess it is. That's really strange. You would think a gothic house like this, you would have tons of fireplaces. Um, they're going to go here together. <laughs> yep. They're just going to walk over there together. I think. Possibly. Come on, Mort. Hey, Mort. Okay, I guess not. Um, so I guess Aiden's going to go here. And then Aiden's going to, you know, he's going to flatter Mr. Mortimer and say, you know, you, you just one smart businessman to be able to have this really nice home that you've got. Yep. Really nice. Okay, now, <laughs> here's what's going to happen. Aiden is going to turn around and set Mortimer Goth on fire, and he's going to make it look as though the fireplace... Oh, wait, you know what? Let's just make sure that everything is hunky-dory with this plan. I think everything's probably fine with the plan. Okay. So, Aiden is going to... With Aiden has this, you know, lighter thing that he's going to light Mortimer Goth on fire and make it look as though the fireplace caught him on fire. And let's make sure... Where is Bella? Okay, Bella's upstairs reading... So she will have no clue that Aiden actually set Mortimer on fire. But Aiden is going to set Mortimer on fire. Yes, he is. Um, I said he was going to. Ah, there we go. He's going to set poor Mortimer on fire and make it look as though... It was the fireplace that caught on fire. And of course, um, Aiden has got to be really, really careful that he doesn't set his... Oh, I don't know. Aiden might set himself on fire. We'll just find out. Is Mortimer on fire? Oh. Mortimer is on fire. Aiden is not on fire. So a Aiden is just going to run outside. He's going to go here. And run outside to safety. And we'll just see if Bella gets out. And poor Mortimer is engulfed by the flames. And he's like, Aiden, how could you do this to me? How could you set me on fire like that? And Aiden's like, well, dude, you made me jealous earlier. So I really had no choice but to set you on fire because... You were evidently flirting with your wife, who I have been having a little flingy fling with. So I had to kill you. And let's hope that Bella does not get brave and put Mortimer out. Um, Bella, you better run, or you're going to go up in flames also. Yeah, it's a hot spot, a hot spot. Wave, wave, blow, blow. And there goes Bella. Bella's getting out of the house. She's not going to stay in here. And, you know, watch her husband be fried to a crisp. No, she's going to run away. <laughs> and Aiden's thinking, I wish um, Mr. Grammy Graham would hurry up and get here so we can cloud gaze together. <laughs> he really wants to cloud gaze with Mr. Graham. And look up into the heavens and think about all the sins that he has sent to their early demise. And it's taken Mr. Mortimer quite a while to burn. You know, I don't know. He he's, must have on some flame retardant underwear or something. I don't know, but he's dancing around 
doing a jig, blowing on his arm, waving his arms, trying to put out that fire. Yeah, pat, pat, pat. Pat his booty. Try to put that booty out. <laughs> waving his arms. Is it just me? Or is this taking a while? Let's speed through just a teensy weensy bit. And there he goes. He's becoming burnt to a crisp. Crisp his at look. Burnt to a crisp. His asbestos drawers have not saved him. No, they have not. Because he is burning. He's burning, burning, burning. Burning. And still burning. And continuing to burn. Is he... Wait a minute. What's up with that? Did he survive this fire? I don't know. Is he going to survive the fire? That is so strange. I don't know. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Mortimer is collapsing on the living room floor. Finally. <laughs> he just did not want to die. He's just so totally did not want to die. And now he's all stinky too. So, you know, on top of the death of him dying, you know, he has the humiliation of also being stinky. How humiliating. And I hear Mr. Grimm's voice. Yes, here comes Mr. Grim Reaper to collect poor Mortimer Goss remains to uh, escort his soul to the other side, so to speak, which we will speed through. And the fire is still raging in the Goss living room, which Aiden will have to put out, or it may put itself out because it's been burning so long. I don't know. Um, no, it's still going. Going, going, going. And there we go. Mortimer Goth is dead. Aiden has to pee. So we'll let Aiden go pee. Um, he probably can't pee right now because there's a fire on the lot. <laughs> so it'll probably go in his pants. But we're going to put Mr. Mortimer in Aiden's inventory. And Mr. Mortimer is victim number 22. And it is time for me to go. Um, I cannot save here, so I will have to have Aiden put out this fire because it will not let me save the game when there is a fire on the lot. So let's just go see if Aiden can put this fire out without catching himself on fire. And he's feeling really good and really confident. He wants to propose a crazy scheme to someone. Well, let's let him see if he can't extinguish all these fires uh, really quick. And maybe he won't catch himself on fire. He's still got some more to go. The fireplace is... Uh, here we go. And of course he's going to be a hero in Miss Bella's eyes because... Oh, where'd he go? Is he going to pee? Oh, he's coming around to the other side, I guess, to put this fire out. You gotta come around to the kitchen side. Because the kitchen cabinets got caught on fire. And was that Cassandra? Did Cassandra come home? I th thought I saw possibly. Yep, Cassandra's home. There she is. And Aiden's like, I put out the fire for you, Cassandra. I saved your home. I couldn't save your poor father. But I did. I did save your home, Cassandra. <laughs> okay. And I wonder if I exit here and save the game. I wonder if the Grim Reaper will disappear. We're just going to have to take our chances because I do have to end this part here. But I want to thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you are enjoying this series. If you did enjoy it, please let me know in the comments down below. Please leave me a like and please subscribe. I'll see you next time.